Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Fine Tune Pilates. Today I have a video for stretching and flexibility. So all you'll need is your mat, and we're going to make our way down onto our backs. So coming all the way down, I'm just going to get comfortable and extending that left leg nice and long. I want you to start to flex your left foot and hug your right knee in towards your chest. So relaxing those shoulders nice and heavy down into the floor and maybe you're flexible enough to sort of pull your knee in towards your armpit alongside of your right side of the ribcage. So taking a few breaths here, press that left hip down into the floor, just relax here, stretching those hips. So this routine is a great one for an off day in your exercise regime or if you had a really tough workout and you need a stretch afterwards. You can do this quick little um, routine and it will really keep you loosened up. So we're going to release that right leg, flex your right foot and start to hug the left knee in towards the chest. Pressing that right hip down so it doesn't lift off of the mat. Again, if you feel open enough through the hips, you can bring that left knee in towards your uh, right or left armpit rather, alongside of the rib cage. Still pressing that right hip down. Taking a few breaths here. We want to open up those hips, especially if you have a job where you're sitting a lot. Your hip flexors can get really shortened and really tight. So this is a great little stretch for those hip flexors. And when you're ready, let's start to hug both knees in towards the chest, straight in. Trying to press your sacrum or your low back area down towards the mat while hugging those knees in towards the chest. Relax those shoulders. Deep inhale and exhale. And just start to gently rock from side to side. And when you're ready, stopping at center, place your feet down on the floor and make sure you can brush your heels with your fingertips. I'm just going to come into a few bridges here to stretch out the spine. So make sure your tailbone is heavy. You can fit at least a hand between your low back and the mat. Okay? And then when you're ready, I want you to tuck your tail under, flattening that space in between your low back and the mat. And then you can begin to roll the spine off of the mat, lifting up into bridge. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale, slowly start to release the upper back, mid back, and low back. Good, so one vertebra at a time. Inhale in neutral, and exhale, flattening out that low back. Roll yourself all the way up. Shoulders are heavy, hands are light. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, roll the spine back down, creating some space in between the vertebra. Inhale in your neutral, and exhale, tuck the tail. Roll each vertebra off the mat into that bridge. Good, so keep going with this. Weight is in your heels, rolling up and down, just articulating the spine. This should feel pretty darn good, okay? Rolling up and down, shoulders are heavy, hands are light. Okay, no gripping with those hands. Legs will stay engaged a little bit here. A little bit weight is in those heels. Good. And this is a great exercise if you've got some compression in your low back or even mid back. Okay. Just stretching out the space between the vertebra. So let's just go for three more here. And two more. And last one, think length between the tailbone and the crown of your head. So really stretching out long, stretch, 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 and coming all the way back down. Good. All right. From here, take those legs long again, and we're going to inhale, reach the arms up overhead, trying to keep the rib cage down towards the floor. So on your next inhale, let's reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling. Good. From here, we're going to inhale, lift the shoulder blades off the mat, 
and then exhale back down. Inhale, lift the shoulder blades, and exhale, retract those back into the sockets. Now, if this doesn't feel good with the legs extended, you can bend the knees too. Okay, we wanna keep that back in neutral and just work on warming up the shoulders now. So, for even, even for those of us who are quite fit and work out on a regular basis, stretching is something that we often neglect, but it's so important. Especially in Pilates, you want to be able to do those big advanced moves. But if you don't have the flexibility, it may not happen. Okay, so we want to stay loose. Let's do two more of these, retracting those shoulders back. Keep the head super heavy so the neck is not engaged here. Last one. And rest those shoulders down. Good. From here, bring your arms into sort of an H position or a goal post position. Again, you can keep the legs long, it's just a little bit more challenging through the back area. Okay? So elbows should be in line with your shoulders, your palms face up towards the ceiling. Drop that rib cage down, something I always have to remember. And then on your next exhale, I want you to start to rotate the arms so the palms face down towards the floor. Keep the mid um, or the center of the shoulder blades really heavy in the mat. And then inhale, open it back. Exhale, start to rotate those shoulders. Do not let the shoulders lift off the mat and scrunch around the ears. Relax them and just feel the rotation through that rotator cuff. Okay? Really great if you lift weights. Just see where you're at. You're at. You might feel some tension in those shoulders. Okay? And don't worry about pressing the palms to the floor. Okay? Not a lot of us can get there. I would rather you really keep those shoulder blades grounded and rotate properly through that shoulder joint. Good, so keep it coming. Let's go for three more. Exhale to press the palms down, and inhale, open it up. I have to say, this is a lot more relaxing than what I'm usually doing for my workout. It's kind of nice. Good, last one. And down. Good. And all the way back. Good. If your legs are bent, straighten them out. Inhale, reach those arms up towards you. Lift the ribcage if you want. And exhale, release. One more time, inhale, stretch. And exhale, release. Keep that ribcage glued to the mat. And then inhale, fingertips come up. Exhale, start to roll yourself all the way up using those abdominal muscles. And then just start to reach for the toes. Inhale, stack the spine back up nice and tall. And exhale, tuck your tailbone under, round, round, round through the spine. Abdominals hug your spine and reach it back. Rib cage still connected to the floor. Inhale, fingertips come up. Exhale, articulating the spine all the way up. Bend the knees if you need to. And coming all the way into that forward fold. Inhale, stretch the spine up. Exhale, start to scoop the belly as you round the spine all the way down with control. All the way back down to the mat. So these are Pilates roll-ups. They're not easy. Inhale, fingertips come up. If you need to, you can bend your knees to help you get all the way up. Okay. These might take some practice, but really great again for stretching and articulating the spine. Good. You want a little bit of work for reminding us that our core is still there to support us. On your exhale, curling up, squeeze those abdominals to lift all the way up and forward. Good. One last time here. Inhale, stack. And exhale, scoop the spine all the way down. Scoop the belly back all the way down. Good. One more time. Getting all the way up. Inhale. And exhale, folding forward. This time, let's reach for those toes. Flex them back. And just wiggle out your hips until you find those sit bones. I want you to inhale, reach the chest towards your feet, and on your exhale, start to fold a little bit deeper. Now, if you're not flexible enough yet to touch your toes, don't worry about it. Here is fine. You can bend your knees and grab onto your toes too. Whatever works for you. Taking one last deep inhale, and exhale, and starting to walk yourself all the way back up, nice and tall. Good. All right. So coming forward onto all fours, we want to be able to feel um, mobility and range of motion in each direction. So we're going to start with a little rotation. I want you to come into all fours. Again, you can do this on the fists if you need to, if you have wrist issues. Okay. 
Shoulders, elbows, and wrists all line up, and knees are right underneath your hips. Okay. Slide your left leg back, and let's tuck our toes under and flex out through that heel. Okay, keeping your hips level to the floor. From here, you're gonna take your right arm out into a T. Okay, make sure it's in line with your shoulder. So I'll show you in this direction. It's in line with your shoulder. Good. From here, you're gonna inhale, start to stretch and open the rib cage up towards the ceiling, keeping those hips square. On your exhale, start to reach underneath that left armpit, reach away. Good. Inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling, open the chest and rib cage, and exhale, reach past that left armpit. Good. My hips stay level to the floor. So as you twist, you're feeling this cinch right at the waistline, not below, and then exhale, right underneath that left armpit. Good. So now we're getting a little rotation through the spine. Really important to keep the spine moving. Joseph Pilates always said, you're only as old as your spine is flexible. And I really, really believe that. Good. So let's do two more. Okay, you may be feeling a little work in that standing arm. Pressing out through the left heel. Last time. And exhale. Good. Coming back down into all fours. Let's switch sides here. So you're going to start to extend your right leg now. Pressing out through the heel. Hips stay level. And glutes are engaged a little bit. Reach your left arm out into a T, making sure it's in line with your shoulder. Inhale, start to reach and lengthen out to that left side, and exhale, reaching past that right armpit. Good. So again, I'll show you from the front. Inhale, reach out through that left arm, open the rib cage, and exhale, start to reach past that right arm. Good. So again, you need to keep the abdominals on, hugging the spine. So really pull that navel back towards your spine. Exhale. Make sure that your hips do not start to rock. Imagine that your hip bones are headlights and they're pointed straight down towards the floor. Good. Keep that right arm strong. And let's just go for two more. Nice big stretch, open, open. And then exhale, twist. And one more time, inhale, open it up, and exhale, take that little twist. Good. And coming back into all fours, okay? So again, shoulders, elbows, and wrists line up. You can come onto the fists for this last stretch. From here, you're gonna exhale, start to round your back, tucking your tail a little under. Tuck your chin right in towards your chest for cat stretch. And inhale, start to look up towards the ceiling, arch your back, and make sure those sit bones are really open. Exhale, start to round again, tucking the tail under, abdominal squeeze towards the spine. And inhale, start to look up towards the ceiling, open those sit bones. Good, so now really moving the spine around here. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Good. Sitting back into a little child's pose just for a second here. If you need to, take the knees nice and wide so you can really reach your ribcage down between those legs. Reach the fingertips away from you. And pull the shoulders away from the ears. Good. When you're ready, start to walk yourself all the way back in. And let's do one last little stretch for those hips. So sitting down, I want you to extend your right leg and let's cross the left leg over. Okay? Again, you're flexing that right foot, so pressing out through your heel. Good. I want you to start to hug your left knee in. Now we're not twisting. You want to sit up nice and tall and feel that both sit bones are grounded into the mat. This one's going to want to lift, this left hip. So really press it down into the floor and just sit up nice and tall. See if you can extend your spine even more. If you're not feeling an, uh, enough of a stretch, you can bend your bottom leg. Okay. So your legs are sort of in a little pretzel. 
you still want to feel that that bottom hip or sit bone is really pressing down into the mat. Otherwise, you're not really getting the full benefits of this stretch. So really press that left hip down into the floor, still sitting up nice and tall. It's no good if we're all, all hunched over after all of this. Sit up nice and tall. Breathing here. Now this is often a really tight one on people. I see this all the time. Really try tight through the piriformis muscle. Okay, so just allow it to release. Try to relax, I know it's tough. One more deep inhale and exhale. Good. And let's switch sides. So this time extending that left leg, flex it, and then start to cross the right leg over. Hug your knee in towards your chest, sit up tall. Again, we wanna focus on our posture and our mobility here. Both sit bones, ground it down. If you're not feeling enough of a stretch, start to bend that bottom leg. This is not for everyone, like I say. Make sure that both sit bones are really grounded into the mat. No lifting on either hip. Sit up nice and tall and just put a little pressure on that leg to bring it in a touch closer. Tongue tied today. Taking deep inhales and exhales. Just relaxing into the stretch. Again, one side might feel a little bit different than the other, so if this hip is released more than the other, that's totally okay. It's pretty natural. Deep breaths. Good stretch, but it's true, we do neglect it a lot. One last deep inhale, and exhale. Good. Take those legs forward again, and just give them a little shake. Good. And then flexing the feet back and forth, back and forth. Good, one more time and forth. Good. Either stand with the, the feet pointed. I'm going to show you one last stretch here. And this is the more advanced version. So you're taking your palms so that the fingertips point towards your toes, rolling your shoulders back, keeping the core engaged. On your next inhale, point those toes and start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling, maybe dropping the head behind you, okay? So that's a little bit more advanced. Those of us that are comfortable here, hold here. If not, you're gonna plant your feet hip distance apart and do this exact same stretch with your knees bent. Just to finish off, opening through that chest, opening through the hips, okay? Up to you. Legs are strong here. One more deep inhale, and exhale, gently start to release the hips all the way down. Good, hug the knees in towards the chest, wiggle out a little bit, and you're all done. So try this stretching routine, I would say once to three times a week, maybe after a hard workout or in between workouts if you need a little stretch. And let me know what you think, I love to hear your suggestions. Thanks for stretching with me today, and don't forget to check out ftpilates.com. Thanks. Bye.